is up. We're here in Leesport, Pennsylvania for the annual Halloween flea market. It's hot, it's sweaty. Amy's not sweaty. Yes, that's why this looks like this. I'm starting to look more like Pennywise instead of Amy. So come down to the Halloween flea market. We've got all sorts of cool stuff, all sorts of cool stuff here. There's two buildings, well, two pavilions, one building, and lots of cool Halloween stuff. Lots of cool Halloween stuff. We're gonna take a look around, show you guys some of the cool stuff that's here. And uh, inflatables. Lots and lots <laughs> of inflatables. And animatronics. Not the animatronics. If you're looking for that, these two are amazing. These are really cool though. I've never seen these and honestly kinda loving them. Yeah, no, they were way cool. They sold fast. Yeah, I think they sold before like Everyone was even set up. <laughs> yeah, most of the stuff, a lot, a lot of the animatronics went super quick. That's what everybody was primarily looking for here. This guy sold quick. Yes. He was cool. He's got a great setup, a lot of cool scarecrows. Yeah, some of the stuff looked like uh, dark ride props, which yeah. was pretty cool. Would have been perfect for a dark ride. That skeleton would have been perfect. And uh, the thing with this flea market that's cool, though, is it's like you never know what you're going to find here. You really don't. You can find... Everything from, from vintage stuff to out-of-production stuff and, and uh, blow molds and little weird things, like just stuff you've never seen before. Like, it is a, it's a really cool flea market and uh, definitely something you got to take your time to look through. But you got to be prepared here. This is not yeah. your typical um, flea market. Like, if you look, people are carrying carts and bags and, you know, bins and all kinds of stuff. That was You've seen that one guy. He had, like, six pumpkins. I don't even know how he did it. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. A lot of people just rent a U-Haul, and just as the day goes on, they keep replenishing their tables. So it's an event that you really want to just keep walking around all day long because you're going to keep finding different stuff. Yeah, that sold quick. This tombstone thing. It, right after I touched it, that thing sold. I was yeah. like, man, I got the Midas touch here. I know. You should have came back and touched everything at our table. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Like, only, only you. <laughs> But yeah, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of different stuff here. And you got to get here super early because the word spreads quick about this. And word on the street is get out there before the sun comes up. Yeah, they advertise it as starting at 7 o'clock. But by 7, half the stuff is gone. Yeah, because you can set up outside. Yeah. People walking away with handfuls. And it's technically not even started yet. As you can kind of see once you go past the doors, the sun is barely up at this point. Yeah, that poor guy. I would not want to be untangling all that. No. Yikes. He regretted that decision. See, half the stuff you see here is going to be gone. Yeah. Within this, this, I filmed it, and about 10 minutes later, that owl was gone. The, um, that was still there, but then there's another Halloween toy that I, I uh, filmed. All gone within 15 minutes. Yeah. So, you got to move quick. The blow molds were gone. Yeah, I bought that blow mold. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know that one was The gone. Ouija board was probably gone too, even though that wouldn't have been from us. This was a cool pumpkin, one you don't normally see. Yeah. That yeah. still went. That was gone too. When I went yeah. back to that table, that was gone. So. You can barely keep blow molds in stock at this market. Yeah. And there's plenty of them, and people are coming here looking to buy them. And even if you've got top dollar on them, people usually pay it. Yeah, I mean, as long as as long as long you're within reason. Within reason, yeah. If you, you, you don't want to put like $400 on something, but... I mean, you can price things on a little on the high end, and people come to spend at these. So it's a really cool market, not only to buy, but to also set up at if you've got good Halloween stuff. Yeah. A lot of cool vintage pieces, but, you know, a lot of cool just, like, props and stuff like that mixed in, too. So it's a great place that if you're putting on Halloween parties or even just decorating your own home, there's a lot of great stuff at this show. I love those Lemax things. There was actually a dark ride Lee Max. There's a couple of them. Yeah. There's a couple of dark red ones. We're definitely going to... Well, the price the is right. The thing is, it's not so much the, the, the price, really. It's I That's love that awesome. scarecrow. It's so awesome. cool. It's, it's how breakable they are. They are so fragile. Yeah. That you got to... You know, if you're going to buy those, you got to have a house that's like, you know, where you've got a nice setup and you just buy them, put them in the house, and call it a day because uh, they're so fragile. They half really the, are. Half the time you find those, they're broken. You really got to check those things. Sometimes they're broken when you take them out of the box at the store. Yeah. They're just very, you know, cheaply made, sad to say. But, I mean, they fall apart very easily. But they're so cool. They're always going to get me anyway. We just uh, blew by a couple of really desirable pieces there. That Wicked Witch of the West animatronic, super yeah. desirable. Very tough to find. Of course, the Bela Lugosi Don Featherstone, Bela Lugosi, Blow Mold, that's always high in demand and, and tough to find. Thankfully, I have one of those. We actually have an old store stock one that's 
beautiful. I do. I have a store stock one. So that's the thing with this. You never know. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find here. I know these guys sold, see, like, this guy was just filling up that cart. He was like, I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take this. Yeah, a lot of people with carts just filling them up with stuff for their Halloween parties or their lawn decorations. I want to go to some of these people's Halloween parties. So I know. So somebody send me an invite because if you're having cool Halloween parties like this, like, I want to go. Yeah, if you're in the area and you bought some cool stuff here, invite us. <laughs> I know. I want to go where that guy's going. Yeah. But not where he's going. He's like, he looks like he'd be a bad time. <laughs> that was a cool um, podcast, the the table right there in the corner. He, they do uh, home hauntings. Oh, like, wow. Uh, like setting up haunts and stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I should have filmed that a little bit better. Yeah. Well, I was in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> the link will be there for you, though, so you guys can check that out. I had to get back to my table, so I was like, well, let me try to get as many of these tables as possible. This little guy. There's a lot of cute doggos at this. Yes. I think it's a girl, though. She's a good girl. Yes. She's so cute. She's amazing. I'm very excited to be at the Halloween flea market. Luckily, the weather, you know, really wasn't that bad. It only started to get really hot around the time that we left. It did rain in the morning, though, which definitely hurt things. Yeah. Um, but luckily, this whole thing is, you know, it's under the pavilions, and it's in the building, too. So don't let the weather scare you off from this flea market. It's definitely worth going to rain or shine. He's That's cool. awesome. You see a lot of cool animatronics you've never seen before here, too. I think people make, like, custom ones as well. But see, it's got everything you could ever want for, you know, for your this yard, This is the table of the, the promoters of the show. They're the ones who put this on, ah, created cool. this. So Yeah, they, they know what to bring. They bring cool stuff every year. Yeah, they was bringing U-Hauls filled with great stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's just cool because it's it's a themed thing, you know. It's like something that you would think more flea markets would try to do, you know, like a, a cool theme. Like, you know, like a Christmas one of these would probably be successful, you know. Oh, definitely. There's so many Christmas collectors. That's a cool one. Yeah, that's a great one. But yeah, any holiday or specialty flea They may markets, even do that, actually. I don't, I don't yeah, know that this flea don't market take our does word for it. It's possible that they do. don't have enough Christmas stuff to sell that we would be here. No. <laughs> but I would come by uh, ornaments. <laughs> Got some more little pumpkins and random blow molds and more of the Lemax Halloween. I think it's Spooky Town. Yeah. Is it called? I know. It's a shame that that stuff's so fragile. It's a Universal Monsters licensed yeah. Frankenstein piece, which is always cool to see those. Definitely. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, vintage no. At this one. This this one, and usually there is. This particular one, there wasn't a ton of vintage, um, which is, you know, that's the stuff I like. I like the uh, the, the plastic stuff, the, um, mm. you know, the little, I guess, the little knickknacks and uh, toys, the little noisemakers cool and things like that. Like, I like that stuff. Yeah. Some really cool stuff at this table. At the... Is that like a scarecrow girl? That's neat. And these guys again. This is like, a, I guess, a variant of the ones that we saw that were the devil and the angel. Yeah. I just, I love them. I don't know what they are or where they're from, but I really like those. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the animatronics are cool that interact with each other. Yeah. Me looking at blankets, even though it's like 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. I still have found my Halloween blanket this year. That's cool. This is the other side now. Yes. This is the uh, Sam. Sam. Of course. Reagan in the background. Yeah, we can skip over Reagan. We're good with that. Yeah, Andy does not like Reagan. No, not at all. <laughs> it's funny. I don't. Uh, some people. Uh, there was somebody here that was holding their baby up, and taking pictures of their baby with Reagan. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me! Like, what are you doing? Like, uh, I'm what are you an adult, doing? and I'm like, no. Yeah, I don't know. Like, and that's uh, when it started. Like that's that's some interesting choice of parenting right there. Interesting. That's a maybe that's Gen Z. I don't know. It's a different generation. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's a different generation. <laughs> I'm gonna take my baby's picture with Reagan. No. Those are cool. I like those. Like just like the little gauze, little ghosts. Those are timeless. Here's some classic Halco costumes. You know, you always you always hope that you're gonna find mm -hmm. the Wolfman or uh, the Phantom under there, but alas, it was not. 
But still cool to see nice conditioned boxed Halco costumes. That was really cool to see. Yeah. Um, you know, this this stand had uh, some pretty cool vintage stuff. And he kept pulling items out mm-hmm. and you kept going throughout back. the day. So you had to keep going back because he had a U-Haul and he would... Pull a couple pieces out here, a couple there. So you had to keep going back to this stand. So it was pretty I cool. think those are so cute. Like, I couldn't spend twenty or $75, $75 on a little can of pumpkin spice. But if I ever found one of them in the wild, I'd keep it. Yeah. Yeah, it's neat. It's cute. And it's like, it's got a great graphic. It's cute little Sam. Yeah, that's what was cool about it. But yeah, there's all sorts of... Was that costumes, I guess? I don't know. I'm watching this for the first time. Even though I filmed it, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's like a whole new world for him. It's like, what's happening here? Lots of cool masks. Obviously, you'll find Halloween costumes here as well. These, I think, are like repurp. I don't know if those are like... There was... Supposed to be like that? Yeah, no, no. There was some, some people that were... It was pretty cool. They were repurposing things. Like, a lot of people do that now with like baby dolls. Yeah. And... Uh, stuffed animals they'll take like care bears and make them like all super creepy and um stuff like that and so it's like at least it's like giving a new life to things because like you know maybe somebody wouldn't buy the care bears but if it's got a i don't know it's guts hanging out or an eyeball hanging out somebody be like all right i'll buy this keeps it out of the dump i suppose true of course chucky i know bride of frankenstein these are cute. What's the little skeleton guy? He's adorable. I don't know. I, there was the, uh, you know, I don't even think I seen that while I was filming this. Cute. I probably would have bought that skeleton guy. He's cool. I know. Like, I don't know what he's from, but I like him. Yeah. No, I didn't even notice him till now, until you pointed him out. <laughs> I know there was uh, some Haunted Mansion stuff, but I don't think he's from that. But he was in that pile of Haunted Mansion Yeah, I don't think he's stuff. Haunted Mansion. No. These are always cool to see, no matter how many times you see him. Of course, the little McDonald's buckets. They didn't bring them back this year. Nah, it's a, it. it's all it's, right. It's played out, but I it's still you know a little little bit of nostalgia. I don't mind it. I'm not against it. No, I see. Now I'm on the other side of it. It's not the same. It's definitely not the it's same. It's not the same. It's, it just doesn't have that. Doesn't hit the same way as like when you no. were a kid and you got McBoo from the drive-through well, and it was not. like just doesn't. I don't know. Something's different now. Yeah. It just doesn't have the cute. same. I mean, maybe because, you know, we're somewhat adults. Maybe it's that, but I don't know. It just this doesn't have the same. The pumpkins don't have the same vibe about them. True. This one's creepy. It actually, like, spins its head completely around and talks to you. It's yeah, terrifying. Yeah, this guy always has really cool stuff. He's, like, my first stop. Yeah. Is, uh, is this guy. He's always got great prices and always got great cool things, like, different stuff. Yeah. Um. Like, I think, like, that Frankenstein mask was, like, 15 bucks or something. That's cool. $10. The 90s? Yeah. But see, like, 10 bucks, like, or two for 15, three that's for 20. Like, how can you beat that? Prices. That's a killer price. That. You know? Great deals. Great deals over here. Yeah, lots of really cool masks. I guess that's, I think it's a Dracula. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And all of this stuff was gone within 30 minutes. Oh, well, yeah. And this was gone within seconds because you bought it. Yeah, I did. I did. This was this is a motion that you just don't normally find. The Bride of Frankenstein. And this size. Yeah. These are the biggest ones. These are the 24-inch ones, and you just don't find these. Um, not the you, Actually, you really don't see any of the 24-inch ones, but the, the Bride, you never see. The Mummy, forget it. The Mummy's crazy Creature. rare. Um, mummy is by far the rarest one of those. Yeah. You just do not see that. And then this one, you don't see either. So we're here at the Halloween flea market looking for cool vintage stuff. That's what we're looking for is the vintage. Um, not too much of it yet, but we'll see what happens. Let's go. Quickly. Quickly. I found some cute stuff, though. They're new, but they're adorable. And I will share their information shortly because I'm going to go back and buy more. And buy more she did. Well, I sent you, you back to buy more. You did send me back. So you wound up with four of those. Yes, and they're really cute. And I put them on my purse. <laughs> All four of them? Just two of them. Oh, so you're going to swap them out. Yeah, because I put the two that match my purse on my purse. Gotcha. And the other two I'm saving because they're yellow and orange, and I'll save those for when I have a more Halloween-y purse. Gotcha. you got a plan. <laughs> so right now I have my Tiki Frankenstein Elvis purse. <laughs> 
That's cool. A lot of random stuff at this table. And they co have cool little food stands, too. Michael Myers is guarding the ice cream here. Then this table had, like, little random plush. This plush was cute. Like, he's like a little, almost like a little mascot. And then these are actually really cute. Um, Scentsy does these. I discovered these not that long ago, and we actually have that Frankenstein one sitting on Andy's desk. It smelled like caramel apple in here for a while. Wow. <laughs> See, that? I didn't even know that. I know. I was just like, here, put this on your desk. It's cute. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of uh, little crocheted things. This side had a lot more stuff that wasn't Halloween related on it. Um, so there was definitely some tables that had just straight up flea market stuff on them. But then others would do kind of like a half and half. That's terrifying. <laughs> and a creepy baby doll, like, altar, I guess. And then a Simba pumpkin. That's a first. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> well, you never know. you got to try everything. Yeah. And, I mean, just, just about anything and everything you either saw in your grandparents' house growing up or in your house growing up. And some cool stuff you've seen in more modern years. I have one of those, and I love it. <laughs> They're so cute. I love the little Halloween Christmas trees. I grew up with my grandma having one. I like seeing the people walk by with the giant animatronics. Like you see that guy that just walked by? He's yeah. like, all right, <laughs> let's get an eight-foot skeleton trying to figure out how to bring this thing back to his car. Yep. Look at this weird knockoff kiss thing. I know. It's like crazy. It was what so is strange. It? I don't know. I looked at it like three times, like <laughs> making making sure it wasn't some vintage thing, you know? I know. It wasn't. It was from the 2000s. But... Somebody will comment, hey, you can't believe you walked by that. That's Do you know like... how rare that is? That's the super it's a prototype. rare. prototype. That's the John Simons. <laughs> <laughs> That's the doll that inspired Jean's makeup. Like, yeah. Incredibly oh. rare. Yeah, I know. It was only a dollar? I can't believe you didn't buy it. Oh, my God. You could have <laughs> bought a Porsche with the money. <laughs> The old Beetlejuice. I used to collect those little Hello Kitty Halloween ones. I didn't even notice that Beetlejuice laying there. I'm like, I'm seeing either. all kinds of things here that I didn't see. This dog was awesome. Look at that little guy. Amazing. I love that dog's facial expression. His it's facial so expression right there was amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad that was caught on That dog content. had an award-winning side eye. Yeah, he was he was the best. Dog side eyes are like the best thing on I love I love him. I'm glad he <laughs> made it to the tape. Yes, he's so freaking cute. He's incredible. And then we got a Herman doll over here, which is cool because there was a couple. We had a uh, Lily and a Grandpa at our table, and there was a couple that came by that wanted the Herman or the Lily and the uh, Grandpa, but they're like, "Oh man, you don't have Herman." We're like, "But Herman's over there." So they went and grabbed that Herman, bought it, came back and got the Grandpa and Lily from us. That's it. And that spooky movie thing right there, I had to buy that. Yes, that the, came home with me. That's because... actually from Target. And I love those things. They put out a different one every year. Yeah, I think that one was from like five years ago. But yeah. I was completely in love with that thing. It just... Perfect. It just completely that summed up things. my whole love of classic theaters and horror movies from back in the day. Monster movies. And so I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. That thing's incredible. So many crazy things to look at. See, like that that would be perfect in a dark ride right there. Yeah, that it really prop. would. Would be amazing. Kind of digging this werewolf, too. <laughs> he looks like a few of your ex-boyfriends. He probably day. is. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't an animatronic. You just walked by him. Yeah. <laughs> Crypt Keeper mask. That sold right after I walked by. I would imagine so. And it's a Frankenstein. cool Frankenstein. Yeah, a lot of great masks. Yeah. And the cool thing is with masks, you can display them to make them look pretty cool as well. He I'm, was gone quick. Yeah, dude, these are great. The the Killer Clowns ones, like, they did a great job on those, the big animatronics. Yeah, he was gone quick, that yeah. guy. I only saw him this one time when I went back around, he was gone. And see, like, a lot of these, you know, these booths have the U-Hauls, because people just, like, because a lot of the stuff is huge, too, so you kind of need a bigger vehicle. <laughs> That's a crazy clown, I love it. They had a lot of cool stuff over here. This was a, a strange uh, spot right there. That one. Uh... The dead dolls. Well, now we're inside. Yes. Well, we jumped inside quickly here. Yeah, well, right we around time... the corner from there is where you walk inside. We and time traveled. 
Yes. <laughs> and that girl, she had a lot of really great uh, dead dolls and Lemax stuff. But That's she... a real skull yes. that this dude's holding right here. I, I was kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> I say, like, yep, this is a, an actual skull and this is a bone. And I'm like, what the? And oddly enough, that isn't the first real skull that we've seen at a marketplace type setup this year. I think we've seen a real skull at King County, didn't we? Or somebody told us about a skull. Yeah, I don't remember seeing the skull. No, we didn't that, see the skull. That okay. I physically seen that skull. So I was like, Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of like funerary stuff and skulls and I'm just like, Yeah, I'm creepy, but I'm not that creepy. No. <laughs> Here's what's left of our stuff. I'm not sure she only really had the pictures, I feel, but I think it was more like stuff she made with her. So there was a little kid at my table who only had a dollar and he wanted a screen ghost mask, so I said, uh, no, keep your dollar, get yourself a lemonade. And keep the screen ghost mask. And why did I do this aside from being a nice guy? Because you gotta instill the classics, the horror, the monsters into the youth of today so we can keep this stuff alive. It's the most important thing that there is, is uh, keeping the classics alive. It's what we do here on Dark Ride Dracula. It's important that we, uh, if, the new, if the new generation doesn't, doesn't take over, Pick up where we're leaving off, and uh, then the monsters go away. I mean, think about it. How many people don't even remember? You know, ask a kid who uh, it conquered the world is, or uh, that was a teenage werewolf. They're gonna have no idea what you're talking about. So, you gotta keep that stuff alive. It's important. I love how everybody looks at me when I uh, film myself. They're walking around too. Everybody like stares at me like I'm a weirdo. They're right. So it was all kinds of like really strange stuff here too. Like there was like old baby caskets and like weird funeral stuff. Like that was I, I didn't really film that because I'm like, man, that's just that's just way over the top. But uh, some people collect it. You know, it's the kind of thing like with this. Like you never know uh, what kind of collectors there's gonna be. I mean, there's some hardcore vintage. There's hardcore, you know people who collect funeral stuff hardcore skulls hardcore this it's like so uh yeah i think there's very a, different types variety yeah it's like there's us who are into the classic halloween and the monsters um you know and then there's the kind of you know the crowd that likes more of the slasher stuff and more like kind of 90s and after and then there's people that kind of just like the darker side of things the real strictly macabre stuff and that's not really yeah. our thing. No, it's just classic monsters for me. That's yeah. it. I if... like. I don't. I don't want like dog skeletons and baby caskets. That's not really my style. No. no. Just if it is yours. Just classic monsters. Do your thing here. That's yeah. it. It's just. I don't even like. I don't. You know. I'm not a fan of like gore and the the terrifier stuff. And all. It's just not for me. I'm way 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 into just the the classics. The Universal monsters, the AIP monsters, the the Hammer stuff, the classics, uh, you know, the timeless stuff. Yeah. That's that's uh that's what I'm into. That's what Dark Ride Dracula is all about. Yeah, that's what keeping, this channel's about. Keeping classics alive, you know. Yeah. And uh Halloween is such a huge that's part so of great. that. So that's why this flea market being a a perfect perfect little thing. So, you know, definitely if you get a chance, it is once a year in the summertime um you know make your way out here and check it out because you you uh you'll have a good time seeing all the cool stuff yes and you can actually use your phone to scan this qr code here to check out their youtube channel it's super cool and you should check it out yeah so point your camera at the screen right now and you can scan that qr code and then you just click the link and they'll take you to the monster shop yes and tell them dark ride dracula sent you yes <laughs> Some interesting little things. It's weird, the pastel color stuff. That's a big yeah. thing this year. Yes, pastel Halloween is very much a thing right now. And it's it's a tricky thing for me because I, I do love my pastel stuff. This is the vendor that I got my little keychains from. And I'm going to put their link or well, their address right here below. 
the puppies. There's <laughs> lots of puppies and doggos and rescue babies, and they were so cool to pet them all. <laughs> Here's an Amy doll. <laughs> That's me when I wake up in the morning, and I have to go to work, <laughs> and then I'm like, no, I'm not going. I don't want to go. These are cute. It's good to see the old cutouts and even some of the newer ones. Die cuts. The die cuts. Sounds to make you shiver record. I have all of those. <laughs> those are they're great. all terrible, but they're all great. <laughs> and sometimes like... the old stuff, when it's terrible, it makes it just more awesome. Yeah. I got some cool little Halloween baking pans. And... There's the Exodus tombstone. <laughs> I was really surprised that they said bonded by blood on them. Like, I know, that's so it's like strange. this Exodus, though. That's so strange. These are some Target was cool. Bundles. I know, we, we saw that at Target the other year, and I'm like, you know, we really should have gotten that. We this had whole stand, somewhere. that whole stand was Target stuff. Yeah. Target, honestly, I love their Halloween stuff. I buy Halloween stuff from them every year. They Even though I love vintage, they always get me. This guy, the Oof. H2O, 800 bucks. I don't know what they go for, so I don't know if that's a good price or not. But I've never seen one. Yeah. So I really wouldn't know what to compare it to. I had one, that's but cool. it was years ago. Mm -hmm. He was cool. Yeah, that is cool. Another Bride of Frankenstein. Those are, uh, they call them like little greeters. And that's a great blow mold. That's yeah, it's a crazy classic to with see. the witch. Yeah, you, there's certain blow molds that you see all the time and other ones you just never see. And that's one of those ones you hardly ever see. And it's nice when they're still nice and vibrant orange and the black paint's still on them. They're just, you don't see them enough. There's a skeleton, a hairband skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> no more costumes and neat little I wasn't things. sure on that cute. cup. I had to go up to that closely because I'm like, what is that? I couldn't tell if that was uh, old or not. Mm-hmm. These are always cool. These are the 60s ones. The, the groovy pumpkins. <laughs> and then Gene Simmons again. Just because yeah. you were so fascinated with I him. I was fascinated by that. I'm like, what a weird thing. Cool. I'm like, what? what is this? Like, I should have just bought that. This is worth filming twice. I really should have <laughs> bought that thing. It was probably like four bucks and I like, I don't know. Yeah. I should have just grabbed that and I don't even know why. <laughs> just for some, <laughs> for some reason. Nope. It's interesting, though, to see Ouija next to Jumanji. Could you imagine if you mixed the two games? Oh, God. It would tear a hole in the universe. It amazes me. People buy Ouija boards. Mm. I don't know. I'm Maybe... scared enough playing Jumanji. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all set with the Ouija boards. That was a good price for those candles, though. 50 bucks. Yeah. That was a good price on them. Dracula. I think you got to be crazy to buy Ouija boards. Yeah. I don't know if it's because uh, I'm Italian or what, but, man, I don't mess with that stuff. Forget yeah, it's, it. it's too risky. It's not worth the risk. When I was a kid, my friend had a Ouija board, and this it just went guy. bad. I know, there's so many cute, cute little babies here. And this is Now, cute. here's a 24-inch Dracula. Yeah. But he, uh, he was like Dustula. <laughs> he had a lot of dust on him, but he was cool. It was cool to see the big one. Yeah, he's definitely cool. King Diamonds, and Abigail. little baby sheep, who's awesome. How cute. His little curly tail. Oh, my God. Dude, baby sheeps, they call me. They're so he's cute. So cute. Some cool little haunted houses. They display great. I mean, really, you could set up a cool little, like, Halloween town with these types of things. Yeah, I like the creativity. This this guy right here had a lot of creative stuff. All yeah. repurposed from different things and super, super creative. Yeah. Pay for your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do bad things. Don't take stuff. And another dog. His name was Laszlo, and he was amazing. He's yeah. a rescue a baby. Cool stuff here. Last time I was here, this vendor over here had some amazing vintage spook show books and uh that i was able to get add to my collection these are got amazing stuff this always pulls out crazy stuff that's why i bought the, the bride of frankenstein from you guys always got the goods you never know what you can find out here and this is why i always tell people like you gotta come here you gotta check it out yeah it might be far for some people yeah the weather's kind of too great sometimes it's hot well all that fun stuff but it's a Halloween flea market. You never know what kind of cool classic monster stuff you can find. That alone makes it worth the trip. And the vintage Halloween, of course, the die cuts, the blow molds, all that fun stuff. I just sold a bunch of mine because I have too many. So I moved them on to other collectors, and that's that's always good to do. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Check it out. Look at 
it stopped raining, which is nice. So let's go. Let's see what else we can find. Normally, when the weather's nice, this is all packed with uh, flea market vendors, too. So after you're done with the Halloween flea market over there, you usually have a whole big flea market back here. But it rained all morning and still rain clouds, so only a couple people still decided to come anyway. I don't want to die for some candy.